Welcome everyone. Um, I am Miss Rihanna van Koller. I am your lecturer for Marketing 101 again and uh, welcome to today's session. I hope to give you some insights and um, feedback on preparations for the exams and um, yes, I would like to then, without further ado, start the presentation. Okay. 100%, you can see the presentation. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, so um, what I will be doing is um, today I'll be talking about the composition of the exam paper, the examination approach, the guidelines for exam preparation, and then I would like to give you an opportunity for any questions. So if we look at the composition of the exam paper, First of all, um, it is very important to note that you would to also have to look at the format of the assignment questions that you answered before, because they might assist you in having an idea of what the formats would be like for similar questions in the exam. Won't be the same questions, but the same type of um, questions could come up. Um, then your study guide. Uh, make sure that you focus on all the learning outcomes together with the learning activities and assessment questions. And that is your starting point because you would need to also include your prescribed textbook and concentrate on all the different sections as indicated for each activity in the study guide. So you have to study from both and make sure that you know how they tie into each other. So how long is the examination going to be? It's going to be three hours and there will be six questions for 100 marks. And these questions um, will have um, sub-questions and the actual questions will be anything between 5 and 25 marks, while the sub-questions will be between, between 2 and 15 marks. Then also with um, applications, yes, there will be um, application questions that will refer to the case study, which will be questions three, five, and six. And please keep continuing to check your Canvas um, platforms to see if there's any emails or communications regarding any additional guidance and information. Okay, so um, if I could just ask if you could just mute yourself, there's just some background noises coming through um, in the background if you don't mind. Uh, thank you, Jock. If you could mute yourself, please. Okay, I'll mute it now. Thank you. 100%, so let's continue with the presentation. Um, so, this is the composition of the exam paper. Now, um, from the, how should you actually approach the examination? So, very important, make sure that you do study all the prescribed chapters in the textbook and use the study guide to enhance and expand your learnings from the textbook. By now, you would have worked through uh, both for both the assignment and the multiple choice questions. And yes, please apply both the, for the exams as well. Make sure that when you get to the exams that you do read all of the questions and the instructions that goes with them. And you don't have to rewrite any of the questions, but make sure that you do number all of these answers uh, very clearly and that you also number each answer very um, correctly. Make sure that when you answer these questions that it is in line with all of the instructions given and make sure that you pay attention to how many marks each question actually count and make sure that the answer that you present align with the questions being asked. But at the same time, I also want to say, um, if you're not sure about the answer, but it's the only answer that you have, please still answer the question and make sure that you try to answer all of the questions in the allocated time so that it doesn't have a negative influence on your overall performance. And make sure that when you look at all the different, different topics that we confirmed today, that you can provide examples from your work environment, but that 
um, that practical application from your work environment that when it's required to answer it from the case study in the specific exams um, questions that you then can also pull um, examples and applications from the case study. If there's any questions for more than 20 marks, make sure that they have a title, an introduction, headings, subheadings, and a conclusion. Um, and if there's any recommendations, that you also include those. You don't have to do any source referencing during the exams. Um, you just have to refer to your case study. Do not use any of the examples that's in your study guide or your textbook, guys. Um, because you won't get any marks for that. Please make sure that you use your own examples or um, refer to the case study as required. So that is our examination report. So let's now have a look at the exam itself and to give you a little bit more guidance on um, the content. Okay, so first of all, as I said, there are six questions. For question one, it is going to be... Um, 20 marks for multi, multiple choice questions. And when you're going to the multiple choice questions, um, make sure that you understand for that study unit 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And for um, this multiple choice questions, make sure that you understand all of these study units very well. Then question 2 will be all about true and false. Um, and you would have the 10 questions for two marks each, and that would be study unit 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, and that is then for the exam preparations. Then um, for your questions 3 to 6. So remember I said question 3, 5, um, and part of 4, and 6 will apply to the case study but especially questions three five and six so for question three for 3.1 i want you to go and look at the topic of integrated marketing communications make sure that you understand all of the aspects and how to apply them then secondly for question 3.2 um, go and have a look at digital marketing and digital marketing will um, then be applied in its various aspects. So go and have a look at that and go and source accordingly in your textbook as well as well as in your study guide. Then for question four, for 4.1, you would have to go and look at study units one, three, and five. Very important. And then for question 4.2, um, you would have to go and have a look at the role of packaging. For question 4.3, you would have to go and look at the different types of retailers that exist. And then for question 4.4, you would have to look at pricing adjustments and make sure that you understand the pricing module very clearly. Then for question 5, um, this is going to be uh, for all three of these sub-questions, it's going to focus on segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Very important. And then for question six, it's all going to be about matching the columns. And for this, you need to refer back to study units three, five, and seven. And make sure that you understand all the terminology and, and what is being defined in there so that you're able to match the columns. And with matching the columns, I mean that in column A, you would have a statement, in column B, you would have the statement, and you would need to match column B to column A. So um, in light of that, I wish you all the best for the exams preparations. And um, I hope that uh, um, this is giving you a bit of insights in what you should be preparing for the exams. So what I would like to do now is provide an opportunity for um, questions and answers. And um, I would just like to stop sharing my screen there for a moment. And I would also like to then give you guys an opportunity for any questions. Um, is there any questions from um, anyone here today regarding the exam?
Right. Um, I'm just going to stop then the recording.